Welcome to Brick Trains and I'm Joey and this should be the last haul for 2022. So this is some stuff that I got from Dad Bod uh, or Barnes Bricks. <laughs> you probably if you've seen any of, ooh I got tape all over my knife. Um, any of Jabbo's videos or some of the AFO podcasts, you probably heard Jabbo talk about uh, Barnes Bricks and Dad Bot. He's a, a viewer and member over there on Brickzar, and Jabbo has been buying some stuff from him, from out of his store, and he had contacted me and said he had some stuff that he was kind of wanting uh, ideas on pricing and stuff. It was some Samsonite stuff, and at any rate. Long story short, I ended up buying some stuff from him, so that's what this is. So let's see what we get. Here we go again. Cutting to me. He's got it well, there we go. Well taped, which I appreciate. It doesn't help. I think my knife's getting really dull. It only works through the serrated part. <laughs> okay, so it's a nice eBay box. Hey, look. Box came relatively uh, well packaged and, and undamaged. Okay, so okay, so we got the first thing we got is a note, which is oh, it's a sticker on this box. Okay, so this oh, hang on a second, I'm gonna dismiss that. There we go. So it says missing a bit, but better than nothing. And he, he's talking about the box. So this is a box that he had for set 6971, which is a box that I don't have. And he just sent this. So I appreciate that. Um, let's see if I can get this open. Let me get my knife out here and see if I can't hurt myself or cut something that doesn't need to be cut. All right, we're getting through the tape. Cut through the sticker. And the last piece of tape right here. There we go. Now we gotta keep the excess tape from touching the box. Half it. There we go. Cool. Okay. Yes, the gravitational pull is kind of strong in my basement too, Jabo. Alright, so this is cool. Okay, so it's 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 box six nine seventy one. Let me make sure I got the right thing. And it's missing part of it, but that's okay. Uh, like he said, it's better than nothing. But it's got the inner the inner sleeve part. That's pretty cool. So that would have gone in like this, All right? So that goes in there like that. And that's kind of like the classic space logo, it looks like, right? I've not seen that particular uh, storage compartment before, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's picking up. I'm trying to get the glare to kind of see it. It's got a little texture and stuff on it. So this is a set that I believe I have the set for. I have all the parts and pieces. I just don't have a box. Um, yeah, intergalactic command base. So very cool. This is one of the things I've been trying to do, I'm looking over at my space cabinet, is collect uh, all the classic space from, from when I was a kid and uh, more that I had, you know, more, more of it than I had. Where's my little, oh, he got knocked off and got squashed. So uh, I had a few of the classic space sets and I think they're really cool. So I've been collecting them. I've had the sets. It's kind of one of those things. It's like you start with the instructions, you get the parts, or you, you get the parts and then you get the instructions. But then ultimately, I like to get the box. So I have the box for that set. Okay, so now the rest of this should be. Yeah, boy, he's got it well packed. Star foam, bubbles, all kinds of bubbles. Throw those over there. And okay, let's start with this one. This is a Samsonite parts pack. You know what, instead of, oh, I don't know where my, my shears are gone. 
we'll just cut it. We'll, we'll make do. Okay. So this is one of the square parts packs. These are all the different parts packs you could get back then from Samsonite. So these kind of hung on a on a hook or yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about, like an end cap at, at, a, at the Walmart. This would have had inside it. Now it's okay. So this one's got trees and windows. It's trees and windows assorted. Which one would this be? Sorted brace, large wheels, bevel, large garage door, giant base plate, 50 by 50. Yeah, I don't think a 50 by 50 fit in there. Gates and fences. Hmm, I don't know, it's not listed on the back of here. But all of these came with these red plates. All right, I think this is 10 by 10. 6, 8, 9, 10. 10 by 10. They all came with, with these, which also doubled as the box top for a lot of these sets here. These are this, the same one. All right, so these red ones would, they had a lot of red ones, I guess, but they'd, they used the same mold to make the box top for these square tall boxes. So that's cool. Uh, this also would have came with a milk carton kind of thing. Let me see if I can find one. One of these. Would have came with one of these. But the parts would have went in. And this would have went down in the bottom of it. So yeah, I'm trying to get all that back in there. Me and Jab will use these milk crates, or I call them milk crates. It's made out of the same material that a milk jug's made out of. Uh, we use them for sorting. So, And then the very most expensive part of these, there was a little paper tag that would have sat down in here, and it would have told what this box is for. It got, they were, they were lost quickly, because, uh, again, it was just loosely put in there. That way, Samsonite made one box. Again, these are Samsonite errors, so these were all made in the United States by... By, yes, the luggage company. Although this is a lot. This one here does not say Samsung on it anywhere. It does in a little bitty print. So this is... Uh, what was the time frame? Was these are later 70s, early 70s. Uh, by 72 or so, uh, in United States was done with Samsonite. Or Samsonite was... Or Lego was done with Samsonite. So only Canada had them. So this is very cool. I don't know how to get that back in there now with the milk, milk crate. And the, the cellophane is still intact. That's really cool. Because a lot of times that stuff is gone. All right. I'm trying to get that back in there like so. So that will go with the parts collection. Actually, let's take that out of there because I'm going to end up Put a hole in that cellophane from over. I'm gonna get that. I gotta get that red 10 by 10. It's gotta go on the bottom. Okay, so this is more parts packs. Um, trying not cut into the box here. Looks like he's got it wrapped already. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so these are. Letters and numbers. Okay. <clears throat> so this little box is a European box. And it slid out. Make sure I don't dump it upside down. Oop, there's the paperwork. Very cool. And it is just full of letters. Little one by one bricks with letters on them. So if you had a full complement of bricks or letters, I don't know, uh, there'd be European letters and stuff in there. I don't know exactly how many came in this. I have to look it up. It's a pretty nice little uh, piece of paperwork for something that's 50 some odd years old. But yeah, so this is this is cool. And again, these are the this is the letters and they, these slide out sleeves 
uh, you know, the sleeves and the boxes, the boxes are marked what came with it, but the sleeves could get, they could get mixed up because there's like about, well, depending on which era and which country and where they were coming from, there, there I think it was up to about seven different pictures. Uh, I think this was, might've been five in this era. It might've been more. Here's a second one. This is numbers. This is 237. The first one was 234 and this one's 237. And this is numbers. Ooh, again, we got the we got the paperwork, and then a little complement of numbers. So really cool. These are really, really pretty cool. All right. So we'll set those there. Okay. What else we got? Let's pull some of these out. Now these are Samsonite ones. These are much bigger. Um, ooh. ooh. I really should go get my scissors, my nippers. Okay, so he had some Samsonite boxes. I think he, I think he bought somebody's collection out. All right. So this is 521. Hmm. Yeah, that's the right way. 521 slash two. This would have been one by one and one by two plates <clears throat> these were possibly these have been clear or black hmm i have to think about that and see it's really kind of hard to tell if that was going to be clear or black there's i think the clear would have had like little squiggly lines indicating that you couldn't really see through it these would have just been black um, this is 218, show that, all right, which is the famous 2x4 brick. Um, now this is, this is interesting, I don't know if we're going to be able to pick it up on color or not. The one, this one right here is cellulose acetate, this one is ABS. This is the, this is what they would have made the bricks out of, or this is what they make the bricks out of now. This is what they originally made. Uh, Samsonite was, uh, <clears throat> they were bad for mixing. You could get sales acetate and or um, ABS. And this looks like a, see how they don't really scrunch together, how there's a gap. The sales acetate warped really bad and Lego quit using them. But Samsonite kept using them. <laughs> Uh, much to the chagrin of Lego, they did not like it. Yeah, there's at least a couple different colors going on in there. So this, to be perfectly honest, is 218. The red 2x4 brick, you would think there would be so many of these. But honestly, I have requests right now from several people who... Well, not several. I have a couple requests for people who uh, want 2 by for red parts boxes. So like this Samsonite, I have one red one. I have almost all the other colors in the two by four bricks uh, that they offered at the time. Uh, I think I have one extra of this. Now I have another. Um, I'm kind of leery to part with these. <laughs> so, but you notice the Samsonite ones were pretty big compared to the European ones. The size is quite, quite different uh, on the size of the box. So it's interesting. So European, American, or Samsonite. All right, let's see. Here's some more. Uh, wow, nice piece of styrofoam in the bottom of the box. This is going to be back some European ones. Let's see what we got here. Okay, these are flags. So this is 242A and B. These are. Back to the, again, the European size boxes with the slides, and then a whole bunch of these flags. Some of these flags are, and I don't know, I'll have to look through and figure out which ones belong to which. The A had a specific, this is B, uh, had a specific set of flags that went in it, and A had a certain, there was several different ones. Basically, it depended on which country they were kind of targeting as to which flags they had in there. Um, maybe that had something to do with World War II. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this one. Okay, okay, okay. So this is 242B. 
okay, in the slide type box. This is 242A, so it still flags, but it's, it's the box that opens like the Samsonite boxes. And again, it has the, it has, I think those are Norwegian flags. Swiss, Norwegian, I don't know, British flag, I got that one. They all should have had a Lego logo flag in them. So, and some of the country flags were really, really hard to get because they only came in like these boxes. Um, in limited quantities in these boxes. So, Okay, so now we're up to three different kinds of box styles here. The, well, four if you count this one. Um, and again, these are the parts. This was pick a brick wall back in this, back in the 60s and 70s. This is 60s. Uh, okay, so we got this open front cellophane type box. Then we got the slide out boxes from Europe. We have this closed style box. And we have the Samsonite closed boxes. Uh, we got one more European, and this is more Lego flags. Okay, I kind of like the flags. It was definitely something he had that I didn't have as many of. Uh, and there a lot of these, this 521-2 is one that I didn't have a box for, uh, which means brick set probably doesn't have a picture of that box, so... Or if they do, they have one of the flat pictures. So I'll have to take some pictures of that box and get it on there, I'm sure. And probably some of these European ones, too. Okay, so here's here's 242B in the lift-open flap-type box. This one, I, uh, ooh, look at all those flags. Ooh, an American flag, two American flags. These may or may not have belonged in there but that's actually fine, that's fine. This one here, that one, I'm gonna have to look at that. Oops, wasn't showing it to you very good, was I? That's the red Lego logo flag. So yeah, again, these would have had specific flags that went into these boxes and I'll have to, I'll have to sort them all out and figure out which ones go. Uh, obviously here, see there's no lip around the bottom and Oh, here's a perfect example. Two different flag, two different American flags, okay? One has the lip around the bottom and one does not. So this is an older one. Um, so, <clears throat> minor variations. Uh, well, here, look at this one, the Lego logo flag. See the, the flag pole itself is more like an axle, like a Technic axle stud than it is just this, just a, a rod. So again, there's all different, there, there were so many of these, these wavy Lego flags, so many versions because they came in so many different sets. And I think part of it was just every time Lego needed more flags, they just had them reprinted and it ended up with new versions. So that's gonna be fun to sort out. I have a couple sets of flag, I have a couple boxes um, and I don't have all the flags for them, so hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get enough flags to at least complete maybe some of the ones I have, and hopefully there's some complete ones here too. So that will be cool. Yeah, you can even see on the box how the, the different logo, the white flag versus the red flag, different time frame. So the white logo with the red circle versus just the white letters. So. Lego started getting picky with their logo back then. And here's another one. This goes back to, this is 242.3. Apparently we abandoned the letters. We're still sticking with the 242 number, but now we're, now we're using 242.3. And this is all non-lipped flags, but several, several different European country flags there. So, pretty cool. Lots of flags to sort through here. And that's a white one with the uh, red circle logo. So, that goes with these boxes. E yep. Let's see, how many different pictures do we end up with on these? We ended up with 
Yeah, we ended up with four different pictures here. So we got the pilot and the kids playing, and then the three kids, and then the, the two boys. So there's four different pictures there. I think, yeah, these are the two boys playing, and then on the back side's the pilot. The back side of these just had that blue yellow brick over the gray. Okay, so well, we got two different pictures here. And the Samsonite pictures, yeah, they do, yeah, they match up. They match up. All right, so the last bundle in here is some more Samsonite. Let's see. Keith, you did good with all the tape. They were not going to get hurt in shipping. He did better than Lego did. <laughs> all right, let's see. There we go. Here we go. I found them an exit. Okay, so the first one is 422 assorted colors, one stud bricks, and this is a dollar. Okay, so we'll discuss that in a second. And this is, these are two by tens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two by eight. Oh, two by eight. Okay, so these are the, <laughs> yeah. Waffle bottom even, cool. So these are the, Few white plates that you uh, used for the blue track era, which these are probably older than the blue. Eh, no, this would be the same time frame as blue track. Blue track. Jabba, when did the blue track come out? At any rate, so this is a box of those, and I'm pretty sure 229B. Pretty sure I did not have one of these in my collection. I cannot read that, but it does have a 50 cent price tag on there. It's kind of cool seeing those old vintage price tags on there. So this is 50 cents, right? So that indicates to me, it indicates that it was a, a U.S. Uh, pretty much the whole time this was a U.S. box. This would have been sold in the United States. This one, on the other hand, and very cool. That's something that I have not ever proven before but now i need now i know okay i don't know if we're gonna be able to get that in there i may have to b-roll that in there but that says made in canada this is the dollar box okay everything that was a dollar this one by the way says made in the united states on it there in the corner canadians had or yeah in can in canada they had there's nothing in eh, maybe there is something in this box uh, yeah, there we go. That's what's supposed to be in there. A whole bunch of those. So for a dollar, you got twice as many bricks as in Canada as they as we did in the United States. Canada Samsonite of Canada lasted a lot longer than it did in the United States. Uh, they played well with uh, Lego, or they played better with Lego than the United States Samsonite version. Also, another really big telltale giveaway is that it's in French. What's in French on this side, and it's in English on this side. So that's a that's a that's a very big Canadian giveaway there. Uh, always got to have the French Canadian language on boxes sold in Canada. To this day, I believe that's the way it still is. So, or maybe that's just in Quebec or someplace. Anyway, pretty cool. So what box covers did we get here? Do we get, we got, hey, we got four different ones. So we get matching, yeah, we got the boy and the kids. And let's see, yeah, that one matches up. Let's see if I can build a pyramid here that's going to stand. Uh, oh, that's the same. Yeah, that's the same as this one. So we only got three there. We didn't get an airplane. I don't think. I don't think that picture was ever on a Samsonite box. So pretty cool. This is a. Uh, this is a pretty good little haul here. So let me talk about these. Bushes, did I? These bushes and trees, these were the flat trees. 
All right, they were molded. Uh, at one point, Lego was actually gluing granules, granules of uh, ABS plastic to the trees. <laughs> and uh, I wish I had one of those to show you. Uh, I have some over there, I just don't have any right here. Uh, but they, uh, they did that for a while. Some of these were painted. They went through several versions. The ones in the United States through Canada or through Samsonite uh, and in Canada, but the ones that were sold by Samsonite were this generic flat version. There was no no painting, no gluing, no nothing. It looks like it's all going to be fir trees. Yeah, it looks like all fir trees, and then the three three bush. Your little thing bush there and then these windows are all abs so there's windows and shutters there's a big window uh, this is a door so this is ho size right so these windows and doors went with the ho size cars these style cars so no figures no people but lego was intending for you to um, use this stuff in your HO uh, layouts, which was HO was pretty popular in Europe. I think it still is pretty popular. It's popular here in the United States, but yeah, they were they were intending it to be a complement to like your HO layout. You could build buildings and and you'd have flags and trees and stuff, and it was all pretty much same scale as HO trains. So okay, I think yeah. Did I mention these were all ABS except for? Looks like the uh, these two, three. Yeah, these three here are cellulose acetate. You can tell just because it's just a little bit more of an orangey color than the good solid red color. All right, I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna get all these put in the collection, get them, get them catalog, get them put in the inventory, and sort these flags out. I'm going to try and get as many of the correct flags in these boxes and see what I have, duplicate, and try to marry up some of mine. These flags were very notorious for getting bent. These all look like they're in really good shape. German flag? Anyway. All right, that's it. That's my haul. This is the last haul for uh, 2022. Um, yeah. This is it. So, thanks for thanks for watching, and hope uh, we'll see y'all again next year. We've made it to the end of the line, which means it's comment contest time. So, a lot of those were Samsonite era uh, uh, parts packs. Um, what years did Samsonite in the United States actually produce those parts packs? First correct answer in the comments. Opinion to the top.